Hey guys, it's Daniela. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm kind of excited to show you guys how easy it is to turn your old black faded clothes into some super cool tie-dye. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's already a played out technique, but I had to try it. I wanted to try it, so here we are. Before we get started with the video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys, so this is gonna be pretty easy. All you need is some old black clothes that you have. I am gonna be using this little zip up hoodie that I have. It's an Adidas one. And this one was my favorite sweater for like two years. And then I got some bleach on it just recently. So I thought I would save it and make a cute little tie dye sweatshirt and I'm so glad that I did because check it out like look how cute it is if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this super cute sweatshirt to be tie-dyed in reverse then keep on watching all right so to start we're gonna need any black clothing item of your choice I'm just gonna use my old Adidas zip-up hoodie that I have you're going to also need some gloves because you're going to be working with bleach and it's such a strong chemical. Then I picked up these travel bottles at Dollar Tree. You can obviously use something bigger, but this is all I had on hand. Some rubber bands. I also picked these up at Dollar Tree. And then a bucket and then obviously some bleach. All right, we're going to start by getting this thing put together. This is like my all-time favorite sweatshirt as you can tell it's so faded and I didn't want to just discard of it so I decided to bleach it a reverse tie-dye I guess anyway so here I'm gonna try to do the scrunching and twirling method I guess and I completely failed the first time and I started doing it a second time and I figured that rolling it and rubber banding it as I went was easier for me to get it all together and then I started rolling whatever additional pieces were laying out the hoodie was kind of hard to figure out how to twirl and then I remembered this fork technique that I saw on Instagram or YouTube or something. So this actually helped me out a lot. Pretty sure that there's a specific way you should rubber band this, but I'm just going for it. <laughs> and this is what it turned out to look like. All right, next I'm going to do half bleach, half water. Again, you can use a much bigger container. This is all I had on hand. So I just used the one that you would put like lotion in, I guess. Then I should have done this before I got started, but I went ahead and put water on this. I didn't soak it completely. I just made it a little bit damp. And then literally start pouring your bleach mix. I honestly just started spraying this everywhere and it turned out really good so I wish I had a better way to explain to you how to pour this on here but I literally just started pouring it everywhere. So I ended up pouring in about two bottles worth of the mixed bleach and then let it sit. All right, 15 minutes later, we are going to go ahead and rinse this in water. We're going to go ahead and just cut off all the rubber bands. I'm going to let the water run through it while I'm cutting it just to get it going. Once you remove all of the rubber bands, just keep on rinsing it out until the water runs clear. This took about two minutes or so. After that's done, go ahead and stick it into the washer and then stick it into the dryer. And these are the finished results. Look how cute this 
sweatshirt turned out i love this reverse tie-dye technique i think it came out so cute i wish the color came out a little more brown i guess i'm gonna have to play with it a little bit more and see how i can get these colors to be different let me know what you think in the comments if you've tried it before and what techniques you use please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching bye